hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so we'll discuss uh, giving credit wherever due in this class so giving giving credit uh, wherever due it means that uh, in your particular research now imagine you have done the research uh, you've done all review of literature okay you have found the research gap you have found the title now and you have started doing the research and we have started doing the research lot of people will help you maybe in terms of technical aspects or in your project they directly involved maybe your guide or maybe your peer or maybe your uh, i mean your uh, batchmates since you are students and what happens they all are contributing the same way or some or other way. some is contra someone is contributing more someone is contributing bit low okay like that based on that you can have the first author second author and third author in the paper and uh, you can also have your uh, guide as a corresponding author who will be a, a, a corresponding author in nothing but senior author who knows who will, was who is expert in that particular field or maybe he is simply your guide because just because he guided so he will be cor corresponding author okay so this is itself is nothing but you are giving the credit that is one thing and there are people when you are doing the research in the lab assistant might have helped you or if you are a PhD, a PhD student then the whole family is supporting you for your PhD all these things you need to acknowledge them so that comes under acknowledgement okay so credit will be given as an acknowledgement there okay and then when it is about uh, referring or citing it's about when you have done the when you are doing the research obviously how you found the research uh, gap how you find your title because of the research gap how you find the research gap just go with our version because of the research gap how you found the research gap because of the review of literature and whatever the papers 100 papers you have downloaded you don't have to cite all of them but as i told you in the previous class 35 to 40 papers who are which are really close to your idea or your research only those papers you can cite in your text or paper so that comes under citing whereas the reference is nothing but same paper whatever you have cited that you are going to refer it uh, you put it in a reference and that is in every project a reference will be there in the end okay while explaining separately and the, uh, these subtopics are there for you guys and so while explaining separate subtopics i'll uh, explain along with an example okay uh, today I'm just giving you an introduction. So let's. Uh, that's how it is given. Usually the acknowledgement, deciding, referencing every research articles, research publications. Every publications will include deciding, referencing. Maybe it is your review paper or a paper, or it may be your uh, book chapter or a book, or it may be your thesis, chemtech thesis, engineering thesis, or PhD thesis also. Whereas acknowledgement is a key. Acknowledgement, you acknowledge for research papers, usually we acknowledge the fundings. If any funding is there, that we can acknowledge. But in thesis, master thesis, PhD thesis and all, we will acknowledge everyone who ever helped us. Maybe the lab assistant, maybe your family members, maybe your principal, maybe the laboratory which helped you, all those things comes under acknowledgement. So acknowledgement is more commonly, it's a more common or general aspect, whereas citing and reference, it has to be highly specific. So next, attributing is nothing but for your authors and all those things. So academic writing, let's start the topic. This is the introduction and whatever I've told you, you can simply write this in your exam. So far, whatever I explained you. If you want point wise, stay tuned for the next five to 10 minutes, I'll explain this topic. So academic writing, uh, by definition, it is nothing but must follow certain rules and uh, conventions or regulations. So among the most important of these are the rules and conventions about uh, 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 is nothing but citing. That means you need to cite a particular paper because you have got some points from that particular paper while doing the review of literature. Uh, referencing, same, for example, in the first statement of your uh, first paragraph of your paper you have cited two articles then one two so now under reference after your paper uh, conclusion there is a reference so in that in text you can only write one and two if anybody wants to know what is one 
then they have asked to go for reference section where the reference will be there the complete reference will be there the, he, that he can copy and paste it in google scholar so he will find the full paper if he needs to study more on that then he can go and study there so it will act as your for referencing you can use that or for uh, for author it will accept a, a refer we can refer this if you want like that so attributing and acknowledging acknowledgement the, uh, the work of others the, the same thing what i explained so that means giving proper credit to wherever due okay you have to give the credit to everyone who is involved maybe scientifically non scientifically so citing in the practice of uh, quoting form quoting from where exactly you are taking from that is citing and next referring to the other authors works that means you are going to refer the other uh, other uh, the authors uh, works okay and ideas in the text of our work in such a way that the context is clear to the reader when the reader reads he should know that so and so has been done for example if i write a uh, uh, sentence like synthesis of silver nanoparticles can be done by bacteria fungus and even the physical methods like uh, cvd pvd all those things then i have to cite from where i got that knowledge so synthesis of nanoparticles can be done by bacteria so any one of the paper who actually gave the input uh, i mean when i was reading the paper when i came to know that this particular uh, nanoparticles can be synthesized by this that paper explains that so i can put one there so in reference the whole information will be given understanding next for physical chemical methods also can be used that is also another paper will be there that i will give two three like that understanding so like that in text you will keep so even though if anyone wants to see how we have synthesized like that and all then he can click on one so it will go to the reference then that reference he can take copy and then paste it in a google scholar he will get the paper he can read it more for more this thing information so referencing is the listing of the full publications details of the published work that that is cited cited as so as to give a background information to the reader that's what i told reference will be in the reference section that again any author can cross verify whether or for more details you can see so acknowledgement is in a research publication indicates contribution to the scientific work so any contribution which is coming from the scientific work maybe funding so maybe the lab assistant who is helping you maybe your family so however acknowledgement attributions and citation differ in the manner of their applications even though they sound the same acknowledgement is arguably more personal singular definitely it is more personal i am giving credit to the my lab assistant i am giving credit to the my family it is more personal or singular or and simply an expression of appreciation and contribution so the next topic is citation that functions and attributes that we will discuss in the next class